Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Virgos. Virgo, we're going to take a look at your person. Uh, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and we're going to see what's happening between you guys right down the middle. At any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on, and I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. I am also going to ask that you guys go ahead and smash that like button if these messages resonate with you. It does wonderful things for um, this video and also for my channel. So I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, and I just want to thank all of you for being here. So let's go ahead and see what messages come through for my dearest Virgos. Let's see what's going on in your love lives. My fellow Virgos, I'm a Virgo rising. So we've got the King of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So a lot of my Virgos, I feel like you guys have been super hyper focused on work, okay? And maybe this is a little message from Spirit that it's time to find a little bit of a work-life balance. Some of you guys are also feeling like there's a lack of stability in your current connection or a lot of my Virgos out there, and I know that we're so hardworking, um, but we're looking up and seeing like, okay, maybe I'm ready for love. Maybe I'm ready to invite love in. So you're viewing your person as the star in reversed, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius, and the relationship as the Ten of Cups. Oh, Virgos, some of you guys, you feel like this is your person, but I don't know, you've given up hope or lost faith here. Your person is very guarded in the Nine of Wands energy. Some of you, they have fire in their chart, Aries, Leo, Sag. They're viewing you as the Eight of Swords in reverse and the connection as the Empress in reverse, so not growing. Hmm. What's happening between you guys, the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Beautiful. We've got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, okay separation and the knight of cups in reverse oh virgo okay i say oh virgo because it feels like somebody here wasn't quite ready for commitment i feel like your person froze virgo i feel like your person got scared and they froze they might have wanted to keep their options open or they're not ready for commitment is what i'm getting okay and i feel like a lot of you you may have sort of given up hope um we have the ace of wands though virgo there's passion um, there's also a possibility of a new beginning with this person, but I feel like a lot of my Virgos, you don't see it coming or you've given up hope or faith. Um, Ace of Wands though is beautiful because this is fertility. This is growth. This is also divine intervention. So some of you guys, you were separated, pulled apart so that you could come back together, but your person's very, very guarded. They could have children. They could have a family. Um, they may be, I just feel like they clammed up Virgo. I feel like this person really, really clammed up. Um, maybe they felt like, they, I just feel like they weren't ready for a commitment here. So let's see, you're in the energy of the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Judgment card in reverse, yeah. So I feel like my Virgos, a lot of you guys have been really stressing about this. I feel for a majority of my Virgos out there, this may have been a separation that happened even a while back maybe within the last nine months, nine weeks. Um, and I feel like my Virgos, you guys have just tried to work your way through it. Like you you work to forget about this person. Um, and I do feel there's a little bit of this energy of like needing to address what happened here or there was like a lack of closure. I also feel my Virgos, a lot of you either, maybe you ended things with them and you're like no second chances. Or you feel like, I just feel like, I feel like you've given up hope on this person or on this connection or maybe just love in general, okay? The judgment card, we've got Aries and Scorpio. Some of my Virgos, there may be a little bit of regret, like maybe if, if you guys were the ones that couldn't quite commit because you, you're either building a business or you're working really hard on like your finances, okay? That might also be, might have been an issue here. You're viewing this person as the star in reverse. I'm like, I feel emotional, Virgo, because like you love this person so much and it like didn't work, all right? And we get the page of cups in reverse. So a lot of you guys, you feel like you can't trust this person emotionally. 
um, that they weren't emotionally sincere. I think a lot of you, you also are worried about whether or not you can trust your intuition because whatever happened here, it was like a really big blow, but not only to the ego, um, because a lot of you guys, I think you saw the 10 of pentacles with this person. Maybe you had, you were married or in a higher level of commitment with this person, shared a house, a home, a business. But what I'm seeing here is that you're, you feel like your person either misled you or your person was stringing you along. Um, I feel like there's this energy of like not wanting or being able to trust your own decision making Virgo. Like you trust your decision making, but this person through like, threw you through a loop and now you're not sure like what to believe is what I'm getting because I think you saw your future when it came to this person they were your wish fulfillment maybe some of you had children with them even and the world so you see the ten of cups and the world so I feel like there's this hope this desire maybe this inner knowing Virgo that things will work out or come back around but also a lot of my Virgos I feel this energy of you guys having given up hope or faith that you know that you can ever get this back or you can have this type of happiness again. Virgos, I'm sending you so much love and light. Please don't give up hope or faith. All right. And if it's not with this person, it's going to be with somebody else, okay? You do have wish fulfillment coming in and you do have a new beginning. So your person 9 of wands really guarded under a lot of pressure, burning the candle at both ends. Um you know, this might have been a risky relationship, but you chose to take a risk anyways. Queen of Wands, you may definitely be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with heavy Aries Leo Sag in their chart. They could just embody this energy. This is somebody who's sexy, courageous. It could be a single parent. Um, it's somebody who's bold. You know, this person could also be a business owner or be a business owner. This is somebody who gets is used to sort of getting what they want is what I'm getting. This person looks good, like you're very attracted to this person. So Virgo, your person is viewing you as the Eight of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Swords, okay? So Virgo, I feel like this person thinks that you've, you may have even told them no more with that judgment card, no second chances. Um, some of my Virgos, you guys made a very, very tough decision head over heart. You may have even been harsh with this person. Okay, with the Queen of Swords in reverse, you might have told them off. Um, they might be worried that if they do reach out to you, or they might be waiting to reach out, but they're worried right now that they need to give you time to let go of what happened between between you guys. It could be that, you know, this person wasn't ready for commitment. And so maybe, you know, I feel like, I feel like whatever it was, it felt like the rug was pulled out from under you, Virgo. Like you saw marriage and commitment or you were married and committed to this person and boom, you find out they're dating somebody else or they have other options. The nine of cups, this person could have a bit of a, they like to get what they want. They want to be indulged. So maybe other people were indulging them. Maybe they just weren't pulling their weight in this relationship. And it's like the judgment card in reverse and the queen of swords tells me both of those cards in reverse that I think you guys let them have it. And they know, they know you're mad. I think they think things are over. I, you probably told them that or wow, I'm going to keep this six of swords, the empress in reverse. Now the empress in reverse can be that there was a third party all along. Some of you may have known that maybe you got sick of it. You know, you said enough is enough. You said you were going to leave, blah, blah, blah. But for others of you, this connection wasn't growing and it wasn't able to grow. Okay. Either because this person was an, a commitment phobe. Um, they liked getting attention from others or they just had a lot of responsibilities. But this person is coming back in Virgo. And whether you believe it or not, this person does think about you a lot. Like they're still stuck on you and they're still thinking about the conflict or your last conversation. So what we have going on between you guys is the Nine of Cups and the Hermit. That's your energy, Virgo. So a lot of you guys, you're taking this time to level up. You're taking this time to really, she, you can see she's in a bathtub here. She's like happy as can be, has her glass of wine, her flowers, her candles, you know, she's, you know, she's loving life on her own. So I do feel that this is with this Ace of Wands, Divine Intervention, that maybe you guys were pulled apart so that you could evolve separately, that you may have been overgiving in this connection, okay? This person, I do feel like they do like to be indulged, so you may have been indulging them. Maybe you were the one doing the work, and that's why you maybe pulled the plug here. 
Um, in the heart of the matter, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So for some of you guys, this person, if there was a third party and you knew about it, like it would be something you knew about all along, like they were in the process of a divorce or something like that. There is some divorce or separation in the King of Wands in reverse. Some of you guys, this person is going to, because they're, they're viewing the relationship as the Empress in reverse. Like, I don't know if they were always sort of dating other people or they were in another connection, or maybe you were Virgo, but I do see that this was the heart of the problem. Somebody here didn't want to commit. Excuse me. And somebody was taking, wasn't maybe taking accountability for their actions that led to the breakdown of this potentially beautiful and long-term connection. We have the King and the Queen of Wands. So we do have this energy here of you know, the potential for a power, power couple. But I also think there was something here about sex about your physical chemistry that was off the charts but there was something lacking like they weren't pulling their weight or there wasn't that stability or that commitment and I feel like a lot of my Virgos like enough is enough with the judgment card so you may have just sort of pulled your energy back okay we see the knight of cups in reverse somebody may have been in player mode yep and the emperor in reverse so we have the emperor and the empress you guys are divine counterparts and we get the Hierophant in reverse. You guys, this is a really intense connection. And Virgo, if, like I said, I was picking up on, for some of you, this is something that happened like nine months ago or, you know, a long time ago. And a lot of you, you might rack your brain about like, why can't I let this person go? Why do I still think about this? You know, it feels crazy, but you're not crazy because we have the Emperor and the Empress coming out. You guys are soulmates. You guys are past life soulmates. You guys were probably meant to be together in this lifetime, but somebody here made some bad decisions or lowered their vibration or wasn't ready for commitment or was trying to control the situation too much. And I feel for a lot of my Virgos, your person wasn't ready to commit. And that's either because they've been hurt a lot in love, they have, they didn't prioritize you or the relationship. And that's something that really needs to be looked at. And I think what I'm getting from these cards, you guys, a lot of my Virgos, you made the hardest decision of your life. And that was to let this person go. Um, what spirit wants you to know? We have the Hierophant energy. It could be that friends and family got in the way, um, your spiritual journey. But the divine definitely has a hand in this separation. And I feel with that judgment card in reverse because your person wasn't taking the action. They weren't healing. They weren't purging. They weren't releasing, you know, old relationship baggage. They weren't at your level, Virgo, okay? And I'm not saying they're a bad person. I'm not saying this person's like a loser or anything like that. Far from it. But they weren't matching your energy. And I feel like the divine came in to, you know, give you a tower moment here to break this down because it wasn't for your highest and your greatest good. And I feel like they made some decisions here, Virgo, that really lowered their vibration. All right. And they say, I know I crossed the line with you. Yeah. So that some of the, they really, I feel like they did piss you off, Virgo. They were pushing your buttons or they were pushing limits. They were crossing boundaries. It's time for me to heal now. For some of you, they may have been like flirting with others, like flaunting some sort of third party in your face. You know, like I just feel like a player type energy, but I also feel like you really loved this person. I'm starting to understand our connection. Yeah, but I also feel the divine isn't letting them forget you or forget that they do love you deep down. Okay, again, not an excuse for bad behavior, Virgo. Okay, but just trying to understand this connection a little bit better. This person may be coming back in. Um, like I said, it's possible for this Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Wands in reverse. If this person was in another connection or married, they may be coming back in, okay, because they've gotten a divorce, okay, or they've freed themselves up. But they're worried. They also think you might just tear them down there with that Queen of Swords in reverse, because they know they crossed a line. Again, I got, I picked up on that really strong physical attraction and chemistry between you guys. Some of you guys, there was like, I'm just getting like the passion, the sex, the physical connection was really, really strong. Um, there may have been something unhealthy about this connection or, you know, like this person always wanted to be indulged, like not just sexually, but like, you know, they always wanted you to do the work. Um, you know, they were, I just feel like maybe they weren't pulling their weight here. There was something that became toxic between you guys. 
and boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now because I think this person, they crossed a line with you. How, how funny is that? I crossed the line with you. We see the emperor in reverse, somebody who crosses the line. And then we also see, yeah, you needed to put up firm boundaries, Virgo, even if that meant cutting this person off. Spirit wants you to know that this happened for a reason and you do have love on the horizon. It's safe to trust in this situation. Trust your decision making, Virgo. I know that you guys, you know, you didn't take it lightly. What's truly meant for you will never pass you by. I do feel this person is slowly trying to come back towards you. Um, you know, like I said, if they were promising to leave or change something, because the Hierophant can also be codes of conduct, how somebody behaves. Um, you know, they might be really realizing, you know, if they were, you know, in play or play at mode, or they weren't honoring your worth and value, or they were the ones that always wanted to be indulged. I mean, with the Hierophant in reverse, it could be that they are changing a certain behavior, but you have to be really careful, okay? Be very careful as to why this person is coming back around. But for a lot of you, because they're starting to understand what what it was and look at that we have we will be together again this person wants you back for a go i don't think they were expecting you to set such strong boundaries with them free will get out of your cocoon so a lot of my virgos like i said you've been if this it feels like this happened even a while back and you're healing from this but spirit's telling you it's time to get out there Remember, you have free will. You know, you don't want to be with somebody who doesn't honor your worth and your value and your boundaries. Um, so it's up to you to see, has this person shifted or changed that behavior? Some of my Virgos transform memories and symptoms. So I do feel for a lot of you, this person does want to work things out. But I also feel that you guys have been doing that work, focusing less on the 3D. Okay, when I say that, I actually mean I think you guys have been working overtime and probably probably to your detriment, like I'm getting like a workaholic type energy off of that. But I also feel like while you work, you've been, you've been or like working out or something like that, that you've been really going over what went wrong, um, being accountable yourself, looking at this person, looking at what was good, what was bad about this relationship, you know, doing some shadow work is what I'm getting. And finding the path, you are the driver and the navigator. Wow. I think it was Leo that got that same card, you guys. And it's like, you're in control here, Virgo. You're in control. This person, it feels like they're going to come back. It might take a while. Um, it's up to you to decide or to see if they've changed. Some of you, they have. Some of you, they've, they've been doing work themselves. Um, they are nervous to approach you. I, they do. They definitely... There's a strong physical connection and there's possibility of a new beginning, okay? Spirit's telling you to be patient and yeah, you're going to move forward, chariot energy. Yeah, look at these cards here though. It's like moving forward, ascending, being patient, regardless, Virgo, if it's with this person or somebody else, you have a beautiful new beginning, okay? After this two of cups separation, we see beyond the ego, surrender to the flow of life. Yeah, beautiful. Surrender, Virgo. It's time to let go. You do have new love coming, whether it's a new cycle with this person or it's somebody brand new. Um, let's pull some final romance angels for you. See what final messages come through for my Virgos. Final messages, please, for my Virgos. Regarding this connection... Let your friends help you. So some of my Virgos, I feel like you've been, like we saw that you were in your cocoon. You might have been in hermit mode. We see that you might really be enjoying that. Um, but I, I do feel spirits nudging you, urging you to get out there, okay? Whatever that might mean. Is that meeting people online? Is that just letting yourself be seen? Separation, so time apart. So yeah, a lot of you guys, you've been in separation from this person for quite some time. And spirits telling you, as you release and heal the past... You experience more love in your present moments. So this may be this powerful soulmate, even divine counterpart situation that came to a close, Virgo. And I, I feel like this is one of the hardest things you've had to do. But Spirit's telling you the time is now to free yourself, okay? To free yourself. You have new love coming in. It may be this person. It may not be, all right? But it's time to take back control of your life. Spirit wants you to get out there, have fun, enjoy. You have a new passionate beginning coming to you, okay? Sending you guys lots of love and light. Um, if these messages resonate with you, I am gonna ask that you like, share, and subscribe. 
Also check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or you wanna follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Also feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to hit that little wiggly bell and hit all notifications so you guys get notified whenever I upload new content, which I do quite frequently. And you guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Love and light.